Johnny Millman, congratulations through the quarterfinals. Had a great week, two wins from three matches. Yeah, and, you know, it was, uh, I, I think I've been playing pretty well. Um, a little hiccup there in the middle, but, you know, uh, Greg was too good on the day. And the good thing is, though, I managed to come out the next day and, you know, back it up with a pretty good performance to get through. Tell us about your quarterfinal matchup. You're up against Matthew Ebton, and you guys have played twice over the past month or so, and you're one and one. How do you think you you two match up? You know, Matt's a really tough competitor. You know, he's established himself as probably you know one of the players to beat here. I think he's gone three and zero in his pool matches, and he was in a pretty tough group. So, uh, you know, I've played a bit with him over the summer. We seem to match and play each other a fair bit, and uh, so we know each other's games pretty well. But, you know, I, I, I have beaten him and, you know, that's given me a lot of confidence going into this next match. You're probably the only one that's beaten him in, in the past month almost. He hasn't lost too many games. Well, he's been, he's been in form. Like I said, he's the informed player. So, um, you know, people would be out there, you know, probably expecting big results from him. And he's done really well to get through. And, and you know, I'm just looking forward to the match. It should be great fun. And how, what have you been doing off court in Melbourne? Do you get down here much? Um, I really like Melbourne. I think it's a great city. I don't get here and as much as I'd like to, but uh, you know, just I, I just love the the culture around here. I love eating out and you know going to the little restaurants. And I'm a I'm a big uh, breakfast man, so I've kind of been you know finding the little coffee coffee spaces here, and it's been a lot of fun. Hopefully, I'll catch a movie this afternoon and make the most of the day off. And what about just playing at Melbourne Park, I suppose? It's not the Australian Open, but it's, it's pretty close. Yeah, no, it's great. It's a great atmosphere here with, you know, the 12s, 14s, 16s nationals going on. And, and you know, it's, it's great just to see the little kids. You know, I remember when I was a little kid and I would have loved to have had this, you know, atmosphere that's around the, 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 this tournament. So, uh, you know, it's great to play in front of people and it's, it's a great environment here. Do you let yourself look ahead and, and just think about that opportunity that if you did get through one, two, maybe three more matches that you would be in the Australian Open? Um, not really, no. I mean, you know, you just got to take it one match at a time. My aim was to get through pool stages initially and then see what happens. You know, I've done that, so I've ticked that box. But obviously now I've got another tough tough assignment up against Matty Ebden. Um, I'm not under any illusions there. and. You know, hopefully I can go out there and, and, and play some good tennis and, and really see how I go. Well, they're not on site, but I know you've got a lot of support on the on the website, so I know they're behind you, so good luck tomorrow. Yeah, no, thank you. I'm lucky with the, the support I get back home. It should be good fun. Thanks, John. Thank you.